Hi everybody. So I wasn't sure as to what I was going to talk to today, because it's been a few days, and so much has happened, and I wouldn't even know where to begin. Um, so I figured what I do when I, you know, feel inspired to is read a part of um, the course. And my lesson today is lesson 240, fear is not justified in any form. So I feel that I want to share on this aspect and with that, share how it relates to my life and what I've experienced and perhaps what I've been experiencing in the last few days and since like 11, 11, 11 and the reasons why um, I haven't created a video. <laughs> So, perhaps we can just begin with uh, stilling our mind, finding that place of quiet, of openness, of silence. And as I find myself resting here into that space, I... trust everything that comes from me, <laughs> everything that comes through me, because I can't not. <laughs> I have learned to allow myself to stand out of the way and trust the message that the Holy Spirit has to give and trust in whatever direction that may go. So I let go of the wheel, <laughs> and I let the divine take over, so thank you for all of you who are listening and able to experience this with me. So lesson 240, fear is not justified in any form. Fear is deception. It attests that you have seen yourself as you could never be and therefore look upon a world which is impossible. Not one thing in this world is true. It does not matter what the form it, in which it may appear. It witnesses but to your own illusions of yourself. Let us not be deceived today. We are the Son of God. There is no fear in us for we are each a part of love itself. So, with that being said, it correlates completely and entirely to my learnings with the Holy Spirit in my own mind. Just under four years ago when I surrendered my life to the universe, which now I know to be God personally within me, that I went on this quest to find love, to seek love within the self, that I knew beyond anything else it was imperative for me to love myself, okay? And as I continued to do that, I recognized that it was my full responsibility to take control of my life and the thoughts that I think. So every single thought that I had that opposed love, I brought into my mind, I looked at it, I realized how insane it was, and I asked spirit to show it to me differently. Sometimes it was the angels I'd communicate with. Sometimes I'd use techniques such as the Sedona method and release the energy from my mind and body. You know, sometimes it would just be an internal, like, reinterpretation of thought. Sometimes the light would just come on. Um, sometimes I'd be given in a whole other um, 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 thought system around it, right? Whatever experience it was that, that I was praying for clarity. But nonetheless, every single time I took these thoughts that were not of love and I took them into my inner world, they were transformed. And every time they were transformed, what was given back to me was my own divine thoughts as a child of God. And at the time, as this, all this was happening, the language around it I didn't quite have, right? But since I've kind of been into A Course in Miracles, it has given me the means in order to articulate what it is that I'm experiencing in, inside me. Um, so now, four years later, after I let my life be guided by God, um, following the will of God, not even knowing it, 
I have found myself in a position where God has entrusted me with the gifts of salvation, okay? As he does with each and every one of us, but I have accepted this as my part. And from this, what has come is a universal mediation program, which is just a small aspect of other things that have come forward also. I've talked before about Center for the One. And this universal mediation program, or UMP for short, like an umpire, get it, <laughs> you know, makes the fair place. Um, <laughs> uh, basically, this UMP program is a means for this world to resolve conflict between two people, between couples, between groups of people, between cities, between countries, between nations. This literally is a means for us to bring the laws of God, to bring a course in miracles, to bring salvation, to bring atonement into a tool that this world can use. I, I, I've, I haven't been able to stress enough that when we have these thoughts of fear in our mind, it creates this, this separation, this detachment, this, um, this pain that we feel, this isolation, this aloneness, this lack, like all of these things. They come from the mind that is separate from God, the mind that is fear. But when we take responsibility for this and ensure that we're going to hold only the thoughts of love in our mind, what happens is we become this vessel, this open vessel for our Creator to speak through us. Okay. And when we actually, like I started the prayer, coming into stillness, coming into quietness, right, is when we actually become open to receive our part in this world, is when we become open to seeing truly, so the blinders come off, we undo error of mind, Right? We are no longer seeing through the veils of illusion, of uncertainty, of doubt, of lack, of any of this. It's gone. Because we've taken responsibility for it, taken it to our inner world, and given it to the light. And the light has shown it to us differently. And as we get to this place, just complete openness and, and trust that we are a child of God. And that in being a child of God, I can hear my Father speak to me. And in hearing this, he will give me the answers to my prayers. He will give me my part to live in this world. He will give me my will, which is his will, through the voice for God in mind to, to me. Right? And then as I receive this part, I can give it. And I can share it. And this is what is happening. Right? So this universal mediation program was originally going to be released on 11 11, 11. The name just signifies, you know, one, you know, to us is nothing other than, like, it would have been cool. <laughs> but then a few days later, the weekend came, and it's exactly what we needed. More clarity came, more wholeness came, more, more, um, the entire program came. So it's going to be released today, which is Monday the 14th, 2011. Um, it's currently 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We have yet to release it, but uh, Tom, my partner in crime in this, is sleeping. <laughs> he took a nap. We were up all last night and all today, so I guess long story short, we are giving this to the world. We are giving this to the world, and I will have a link about it at the bottom of the page, and you can go there, and please, please share it with everyone. Share it with everyone. This is for the world, and, and literally, like, we are having the opportunity to make it even bigger, like, to make it even bigger, right? And so, um, you know, I think that story will also be posted uh, on my website, and um, it'll be more clarity, because right now in this small video, I can't, can't explain it all, but it's so joyful and so amazing and so miraculous, and I'm so thankful to God. This is what we all can do, right? We are creators. We are meant to create with God, but we must create with Him, which means it's for our brothers and sisters in the world, right? And since we ha became open to bringing forward a conflict resolution program for this world, not knowing how to do it, not knowing how it was going to come, Tom and I joined in it. We agreed that it was going to happen. It came. And now we are giving it. It's complete now. Well, it will be in the next couple hours. And we're going to give it. Right? So anyways, right? This is literally coming from my own training within my mind because I've recognized I do not know what I want. I do not who I know who I am. I do not know where I'm going in this world. I do not know what's going to make me happy or what I'm supposed to do. So God, please tell me. And in surrendering everything that I thought that I wanted and everything that I thought that I knew and everything that I thought that was real, what happened is all that illusion fell away and all that remained was the truth and the love of God. The truth and the love of God. And that is perfect love, perfect wholeness. Okay? 
It is the perfection of who we are in eternity brought here to this earth through us. Okay? It is, it is our natural state of being, and we are remembering this. And going back to this course lesson, fear is not justified in any form. Fear is not justified in any form. Doubts, frustrations, annoyance, anxiety, like fear of not being liked by other people, not having enough money, you know, not knowing what job to do in this world, you know, um, you know, everything, everything that is not perfect love and you radiate and joy and perfect gratitude is not real. Don't justify it. It's not justified. There's so many people that I see out there writing on all these walls, you know, oh, there's only one self, therefore the other one does not exist, and, you know, which is true, but, you know, the way in which people are seeing is, is they're almost not taking responsibility for their thoughts because they're just saying, oh, everything is just what is. Everything is just what is. You know, and you're just accepting the good with the bad, the right with the wrong, whatever. Right? Like, there should be, you know, there, it's not justified to hold any thought in the mind that instigates suffering or attack or needing to defend the self or, you know, feeling better or different or special compared to others. Like, none of this. All of this can be banished from our mind the moment we give ourselves permission to let it go. And when all of this stuff leaves, we are left in peace. We are left living our lives in perfect harmony and compassion with others, helping others, teaching others what we've learned within the self, that all of our power comes from within, that we have this infinite power that, that God has freely given us to use in this world. Like when we give up the limited, like when we give up the finite mind of consciousness and give up what we think that we want, what happens is we welcome a power an infinite power of God. All knowledge, all knowing, all wisdom, perfect love, perfect peace, perfect joy, perfect abundance. I can't stress enough, right? This is our true reality, nothing else. What do you think the Course teaches us? You know, the Course teaches us to undo error of thought and to reside in that state of peace and love that we are meant to be in because it is our natural state of being for always, you know? But we make up excuses. Oh, I'm too old. Oh, that takes too much time. Oh, I don't have enough time to go in my mind. Oh, I don't hear the Holy Spirit. Or I am following the Holy Spirit, and yet we're still accepting both sides and justifying it. Right? The Holy Spirit's only job is to teach us our purpose, is to give us our purpose. And our purpose is the will of God. Our purpose is to be who we are. Our purpose is to remember who we are. That is all. And the Holy Spirit's there to do that with us. Right? So when we literally like let go of thinking we have to do anything and simply just be within just be just be we will be guided right like the course also says we must listen to our internal teacher learn to undo error of thought and then do as guided but until we're guided to do anything you know the doing, the actual act of doing in this world is unnecessary. Like, even like it says here, um, fear is deception. It attests that you have seen yourself as you could never be and therefore look upon a world which is impossible. Like, this world out here does not exist. It is an idea in our mind reflected out there. And we've collectively agreed that it is not, that it is there. But it really does not exist. Right? Like, this earth is just like this small ball spinning in the galaxy, spinning through space at light speeds, and we are here perceiving ourselves to be separate bodies, living on this separate earth, having separate homes, having separate jobs, doing all these separate things, you know? And yet, that's backwards. That's our backwards perception of ourselves in this world. And that's okay. That's what we needed to experience to create this world of form. But now we've created this world of form, and we realize this world of form doesn't bring us happiness. You know, that every relationship that comes into our lives, generally speaking, will probably, you know, fall apart, or at least you'll justify its angers and its fights and its screams and its bickers, you know, because that's just what is, and I'm going to love him through it all, or whatever, right? We have a false sense of what relationships are, we have a false sense of what we are, we have a false sense of what this world is, we have a false sense of what we're supposed to do here and why we're here. And that's okay. But the answers are waiting within us to be given us as soon as we ask. They're waiting at that altar, that meeting place within our mind where we can join and the thoughts of God come down and meet us in the middle. And then that becomes the extension that gets extended into this world through us. So instead of projecting out here all the false, false thoughts of the thinking ego mind, instead we just be. 
And when we share, we share as guided. When we share, we share with the Holy Spirit. When we give, because we want to receive what it is that we give. So we give on all levels of form, thought, word, and deed. All in alignment. All focused on love. All focused on God. All focused on giving to others what we're learning. And this is how we bring heaven to earth. <laughs> is by being the vessel for it ourselves. I am a child of God. You are a child of God. And together we have a part in God's plan. And when we come together, we can work with one another and literally create and transform this world. We are creators. This is what we're here for. Okay, we've lived this life in separation for far too long now. Okay, we've dealt with the destruction and the chaos and the wars and the hell and the money system of this world. We are realizing that it's just about to fall and collapse and everything fall apart. There must be another way. Okay, so the other way has come through, and now we're in the process of giving it to the world. And as we give it to the world, you accept it, you experience it yourself, and you give also. Pay it forward, people. That's it. All we ask is for you to go within, remember who you are, and be willing to resolve any error of mind. Being willing to take responsibility for your life in the way that it is, and knowing that you deserve the best life possible, and to never stop. Never stop learning, never stop growing, never stop evolving, never stop praying, never stop asking. It will get to a point that the sense of conviction comes forward. It will come to a point where you have clarity of mind. It will come to a point where you know yourself to be a child of God, can hear the Holy Spirit and Jesus in your mind, and you can give these gifts of perfect, perfect truth. Right? It's because that is what we are. Anything else that our mind tries to tell us that we are is not true. Right. So let me finish off here with the last prayer that it has here, again with Lesson 240, okay? Um, so if you all want to, like, close your eyes with me for a moment, and, and we'll pray here together and send it up to our Father that, that he may hear us and we may hear and listen to the voice for God in our mind who is answering our prayers, okay? How foolish are our fears. Would you allow your son to suffer? Give us faith today to recognize your son and set him free. Let us forgive him in your name that we may understand his holiness and feel the love for him that is your own as well. Perfect. Thank you, God. Right? As we say this prayer and mean this prayer, God comes to us and teaches us how to forgive, teaches us our holiness, and reminds us that we have this love within ourselves for always. And this love and this light that we are will dispel all darkness of mind. It will dispel all unforgiveness. It will get rid of everything that is no longer serving us. Right? So all that is saying is, Fear is foolish. It is the darkened clouds in front of the sun. The darkened clouds can never put out the sun. So let your sun shine. Let your light shine. Be that son of God that we are and just let it come forward. Let go of everything that you think you know. Let go of how you think you need to heal. Let go of what you think you need to know. Let go of who you think you need to forgive and just be open to it all. I don't know. Please teach me. I am your student. Please teach me. I'm willing to learn. Please teach me. And then we are taught. And then we accept our part. And we walk forward fearlessly in this world, seeing it as it really is instead of how we think it is. Giving the love of God in every moment, in every sentence, in every millisecond of the days, and receiving that perfect love back onto us because that is what we deserve. Life is miraculous when we join our mind and will with God. And I am so thankful to be the demonstration that this world needs to show that we all can do it together. Life really, really, really is miraculous. And I'm so thankful, thankful, thankful to be able to share it with all of you. So with that being said, I will say goodbye. And I will pick this up maybe tomorrow and share even more bigger news because I haven't even shared a smidge bit of the amazingness that's going on. So anyways, I love you all. Take care. Bye.